Hey everyone, I'm Kelly with the Suburban Soapbox and today we are making Texas caviar, also known as cowboy caviar. This easy dip is no cooking required and is fantastic for summer parties, tailgating, New Year's Eve, basically any time of the year. Let's get started. So to get started, you're going to need all of these ingredients. So we're going to start with some red bell pepper, jalapeno peppers, lime, the lime is for the dressing, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, honey, a little bit of chili pepper, and garlic powder. Those are all your dressing ingredients, not the bell peppers. Onion, and then some beans. So I have black, black beans and black eyed peas, tomato, cilantro or parsley, and corn. To start, I'm going to make the dressing in the bowl. So we're just going to add some olive oil and a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and then some honey for sweetness, and it just offsets the tang of your apple cider vinegar. So to spice things up, I usually just use regular honey, but today I'm gonna add a little bit of heat with the hot honey. I just love this stuff. It's fantastic on so many things. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder and some chili powder. And if you wanna add even more heat, you can add some cayenne. But we're not doing that today. We're just gonna whisk the dressing ingredients together. So now we're gonna chop up our vegetables. So I'm gonna start with the tomatoes. The recipe calls for one pound of plum tomatoes. So I could only get my hands on two plum tomatoes and then I have a regular tomato. The regular tomato, you're gonna to need to take some of the seeds out or it'll just get all in there and like kind of water down your dressing. If you like that, that's fine. You can totally just go with it. But you wanna cut them into Pretty small pieces since it is a dip. Now we're gonna dice up our yellow bell pepper. Now we're gonna cut up an orange bell pepper. And you can really use any color bell peppers you want. I just like to use a variety of colors because you eat, eat the rainbow, you eat with your eyes. It's such a fresh and healthy dip or even a salad really. You could pop this in a pita pocket and make like a whole sandwich out of it. It's great in the summer too because the produce is like so fresh, so you might as well enjoy it just as it is. So, then the onion. So we're just gonna chop up a little bit of red onion, dice it up really finely. that into the bowl. Oh, and the jalapeno. We can't forget the jalapeno. So if you don't want it too spicy, you wanna cut out most of the white membrane. That's where the heat is and in the seeds. So this one doesn't look too bad. Usually the smaller your jalapeno, the more spicy it is. And if you wanna get really wild and crazy, you can get a habanero and dice it up. But I'm not coming to your party then. Every year I grow habaneros in my garden and we never eat them. I think we're all just too chicken. All righty. Into the bowl. And now I have 
frozen thawed corn. Uh, if corn is in season, certainly go fresh. Or if you were smart and you have some frozen from the summer, I would definitely use that. So we're just gonna do about a cup, a cup and a half of the corn. We're not gonna put it all in there. That was like a big family bag. I have black beans. These are canned and I drain them and rinse them, got a lot of the sodium out of there. And we're just gonna put the whole can in here. And then black eyed peas, same thing. Canned black eyed peas, drain them, rinse them, rinse them again, and then you can put them in your bowl. The zest of a lime. I actually should have put the lime juice in with the dressing, but I forgot. So we're just gonna drizzle it over top. And I like making the dressing first and throwing everything in on top. One, you save a dish. You don't have as many dishes. And two, I feel like if you take some of the ingredients that are a little less porous and could use a little bit of marinating beforehand, throw them in first, and they kind of soak up some of the dressing and it adds to the flavor. If you have a stubborn lime, just pop it in the microwave for about 10 seconds. It'll loosen right up and the juice comes right out. A little bit of chopped parsley or cilantro. I love cilantro, but not everybody loves cilantro. So if I'm making this for a party for guests, I usually just put parsley in there so everyone can enjoy it. And run your knife through it. You just want it finely chopped. Now we're just gonna toss it all together. And this is the fun part because this is when you're like, yeah, that is a gorgeous dip. Would you think most dips are like cream based or have like cheese or hot? This is like so refreshing in the summer because you don't really want like a hot cheesy dip. Well, I want a hot cheesy dip, but not everybody wants a hot cheesy dip in the summertime. And that is it. We are done. If you want to punch up the flavor even more, you can add some cumin. That tastes fabulous in its too. But really, just as it is, is pretty amazing. Now we're ready to serve. So I'm just going to transfer it to my serving dish. And I don't like to get a lot of the dressing in there. It'll water it down a little more than I like. Another addition that some people love is chopped avocado. So if you wanna add some chopped avocado, this is when you would wanna do it. You wanna do it right before you serve it. You don't want that avocado sitting in there all day and like getting mushy before you serve it. So now I'm just going to dig in. So it's a party for one today. Take a big bite. Mmm. This is so fresh and crisp and light, and you get the tang of the lime juice and a little bit of the heat from the jalapeno. It is absolutely perfect and so, so easy to make. If you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more easy recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.